taking a look at PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL. So if we just look at a broad overview of this, this is the daily chart here. This is one nasty, nasty looking uh, chart. <clears throat> you know, extreme selling pressure to the downside. I really don't understand why PayPal sold off too much. I understand that maybe at around 300, 310, 250, the valuation was, valuation was uh, extremely, extremely high. But, you know, for this type of massive sell off, I don't really see that it was deserving of it. But going forward, if we did find a, a bottom down here and around this 170, 179, 175 area, um, we could definitely be in look out for some type of, some type of reversal on uh, PayPal. So we did come down here, lows of around 179. I did have a buy target at around 175. We never got there, obviously, but you can see we've come down one, two, three, four times and touched this level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a trend line here because we do have a clear level. That's all fucked up. We do have a clear level uh, line in the sand here that if we do break below this 179.15, uh, definitely going to be a little bit more room to the downside. However, I do think that PayPal could be uh, on an upward trend here. We do have a gap to fill between 212 and 224. Not saying that we're going to fill that immediately, but we do have a little bit of ways to go before we're completely out of uh, the woods. We did have a close over the five and 10 day moving average. We can see that the five day moving average on a daily time frame has now crossed over the 10 day moving average, which is very, very good. So we want to continue to see this five day moving average creep up here and get above this 20. Right now, we did close at the 20 day moving average. So what I'm looking for short term on PayPal, and when I mean short term, I'm talking about within the next week, okay, especially for all you options players that are looking to play weekly options, being that we do have two days left of the trading uh, week. Here's what we, here's what we can potentially look at here. Anything over 197.50 confirmation of today's highs, a confirmation of a reclaim of the 20 day moving average. We could look to play this into that 200 50 area. Okay, that's going to be the range that I'm looking for this week. Uh, that's the weekly play that I'm looking for on PayPal. Definitely, if we can get a close above here, very very bullish going into next week. And then obviously anything over 202.35 202.50. We do have room up here into this top channel line at around 216. So we are going to have a little bit of uh, resistance, a little bit of choppiness once we start to get up into this zone. But just taking a look at uh, the options flow here and what we have sitting on the block, nothing really dramatic that's going to really pull the pri uh, stock price up. We do have these December 17th, 200 calls that are sitting on uh, the flow here. Almost about a million dollars worth of premium, 22 orders here. Uh, Nothing else too significant that I see here. January 19th, 150 strikes. January or December 10th, 195. Those are already in the money. Uh, December 17th, 195. December 17th, 185. These are already in the money. So we do have some, we do have some premium that is kind of, you know, gonna anchor um PayPal here to this 190, 195 area. To the downside, I think that PayPal is just so beat up because people just started shorting this stock and it was just an easy stock to continue to just overload uh, the flow with. So basically, anytime you start overloading the flow and there's significant amount of pressure uh, to the downside, it's going to hurt the stock, you know, and then a combination of not enough of buyers is also going to hurt the stock as well. But if we just look at the puts heat map here, you can see that we do have some puts uh, about four and a half million, four and a half million here for January 21st, 310 and 270 strikes. So, you know, this, this, I mean, very, very, you know, insignificant to the price that we are now. I have a feeling that these people are pretty deep in the money here. These should be looking to get closed out come the first of the year. And I would expect PayPal going into January, February to really start ramping up here. The big level that I'm looking for here on PayPal is the reclaim of the 50 day moving average at around $225, $226. Realistically, that's what I want to see going forward. I want to see this gap get filled. Um, and then I want to reclaim this 50 day moving average. All of this stuff in here is just noise. However, there is room for potential trades here. Like I said, 197.50 to initially 202.30 for this week. Uh, options expiring on the 10th. And then if we get any close over 202, uh, I would look to 
potential swing trade anywhere from one to three weeks back up to this 216 target, kind of see what it's gonna do. Again, this stock is gonna chop around. It's not just gonna go in a straight line. However, if you do get in on the right side of the trade and you are in early, you definitely know you have your strong base here at around 179 and anything below 179, 180 has definitely got to be a sell order to get out of that trade. Guys, I hope that helps a little bit, just kind of giving you guys an insight as to what I'm looking at when it comes to the ticker symbol paypal p-y-p-l if you did like this video do me a favor join my discord that link is down in the description box below give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i would highly appreciate it and i will see you guys all in the next video